everyone. Welcome or welcome back. This is Christy with AG Takes Over. So glad you're here. Um, I am finally doing the fourth uh, video of my what the heck did I get for Christmas in 2023 that's doll related. So in case you missed any of them, here's a quick recap. The first video was all things that my wife sewed for me. She is getting ever better at sewing doll clothes and I got a lot of amazing things. Second one was everything Maple Lee that I got for my dolls. Um, no Maple Lee dolls. I'm not particularly into them, but if you want a really good sense of just how freaking adorable Maple Lee clothes look on American Girl dolls, um, that video will be in the description. The third one was kind of a catch-all. Um, everything else that didn't fit in a specific category but was doll related. So um, a retired AG thing, a current AG thing, some non-brand fun finds for the dolls, some crafting things for them, etc. And then this one, I had alluded to getting a big ticket item, but it took me a little longer to get to this video because when I opened this thing, I was totally not expecting it. It was a gift from my wife. And I was like, oh my gosh, I love it. I did want this thing. And then immediately was like, oh, well, I kind of want to give a few upgrades here before I reveal it. So I'm going to cut away from um, these pictures that you're seeing and show you exactly what the item is. I'm going to start with stock photos and talk a little bit about just it in general. And then I will point out the things that I wasn't thrilled about. And then you'll get to see um, me fixing those things up. Before I jump to that, if you are not subscribed, please consider doing so. I post only American Girl content and I do it at least once a week. I think it's a pretty good time. Try to put quality content out there. So if you enjoy it, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And um, let me know if you have this. If you are the kind of person who takes on DIY projects, would you do what I did to this? Anyway, I won't build up any more tension. Let's just dive in. Here's the big reveal. I got the Our Generation Room to Grow Greenhouse. This retails for $130. I know my wife got it on sale. And it is, like all things Our Generation, it feels relatively small compared to most American Girl big ticket items. Especially it feels short. But it's really cool. Um, it has a light kind of in the center there underneath. It has... Um, bird sounds and cricket sounds and I really like that even though it's it's pretty small when you have a doll on the inside from that little window that pops out you can shut it or have it open but you can have a doll inside and take a picture from the outside we really don't have any other opportunities to take pictures of our dolls through doll size windows. So I've seen on Instagram a lot of people taking advantage of that window and getting some really cool pictures. I just think it's fun. I think it has a lot of play value, a lot of photography value. Um, it wasn't my biggest priority, but I had mentioned it several times and my wife really surprised me with this one. So the things I didn't like about it are, um, actually, let me just show you up close. So problem number one, Real soil is not this shiny, and it just makes it look kind of cheaper. The next thing was um, stones do not look like this. So right as you're entering it, there's this little strip of quote-unquote stone, but it's super shiny. The bottom color, like if you poured concrete and then set stones in it, the poured concrete part is exactly the same shininess and the same exact tone. Every single rock is exactly the same shade. This is not realistic. Problem number three, the masonry is like one color. It's not shiny, so that's good. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. But eh, I don't know. I thought I can do better. I can upgrade this sucker. And then the last one was um, kind of a twofer because the flowers are really pink and one dimensional and the leaves are, you know, everything is way too shiny. Um, those are some cute little fireflies on there, by the way. And when you push a certain button, they light up and kind of flicker, which is so cool. But um, also you can't see the trellis really. You can see it, but only because it's a raised texture. It doesn't catch your eye. And I don't think that people would be picking the exact same shade and having their trellis blend into the wall. So, yeah. And then um, here, I forgot to take a picture, but I did take a quick video of some of the plants. And 
as you can see, they're they're not horrible. They're just kind of, like it says, one-dimensional, unicolor boring. So I grabbed some paints, just whatever I had, mixed up a bunch of grays, some beiges, and obviously I'm doing everything in hyperlapse because you do not need to see how long I spent on this. I probably spent at least three, closer to four hours um, by the time all was said and done. But look how much better it's looking already. And then I would go back in later, I'll probably end up repeating this, but go back in later with some matte sealant just so that it wouldn't have that shininess because that's not the way stones would look. So yeah, much improved already. And then I did the same thing with the soil, mixed a couple of different browns, used like more of a stippling brush and just kind of some quick press, press, press motions all over the place. I didn't want to cover up all of the brown that was there. Just wanted to give it some dimension. Did the same thing all the way around here. And again, it was still shiny. I think in the end, it was still a little bit shinier than real soil would be, but much improved. All right, so just working my way around there. Oh, it makes it look so fast when you hyperlapse everything. Okay, next was this section. So the masonry part made me nervous, not going to lie. Oh, the peanuts, bitty babies in the background, I just noticed. Um, yeah, this made me nervous because it was so obvious. I wasn't just going over something with the same basic color. It was really changing up all the colors. And I'd be like, oh, this is too dark. Or no, that's that's going to be too beige. But I had faith. Uh, the camera cut off. So you will have to see the final product later. But we're going to move on to the flowers. This pink was not near the same color pink. Like I said, I did not want to spend any extra money and go out and buy any paint. So I just used what I had. And really, it wasn't about the color. It was about wanting it to not be so flat and one dimensional. And I ended up kind of leaving some of that pink peeking through going over it with this color and then you'll see in a minute I mix up another color that's very similar but it's different enough that it added some more dimension and then of course everything's too too shiny but we'll get to that so anyway here's the next kind of pink color I'm not covering up the other one I'm just kind of going in and giving it like in a couple little spots here and there I must have shut the camera off. I really was focused on the painting much more than the um, making sure I got good footage, but this is good enough. Here's a before and a progress picture. I think um, th at this point, the one on the left is obviously the before, the one on the right. I'd gone over all the greenery with a little bit more of a yellow green to make it feel more realistic. And then I had done a few coats on the trellis, but I ended up doing a few more. Then the last pieces that I painted were the plants, and I did not film the painting them, but here you can see the after. A lot more dimension than they had before. So here's what I used to make everything that needed to be less shiny, less shiny. And then I'm speeding this up a little bit, just wanted to walk you through putting everything back in once I had it upstairs in the small doll room. Little seed packets, look at that. Heirloom quality, of course. Some little Our Generation gardening boots. Whoops, <laughs> that soil, man. It'll get away from you. What else? A little garden hoe. I did not feel like taking this editing out, but watch me struggle with this. Okay, there we go. I guess sped up, it doesn't look as bad. Cute little gardening gloves, shears, some pruning shears. There's a trowel there and a hand rake. I want the shears to show, even though they're going to be tucked way down there. An empty jar and a jar of this green goop. I don't know, some plant. little watering can. This is the one that came with it. This bucket came with it. Here's a cute little mortar and pestle. I think that's so adorable. These plants, that one label is from this set, but the other two plants are ones I already had. That's one. I don't remember. I think it came with this set. One of these, um, the terracotta pot is not from this set that one might be 
the one that I just put on the shelf or another one. I had two from two different um, our generation sets. Some dried lavender. I'm just sticking it up here because I didn't have a better place for it. An empty plastic pot. An empty pot that we could put. I think I've got some little plant markers. There we go. And then I've got one more of them. I can maybe put it outside. Another one that did not come with this set. That one did not either. But look, it's cute. I just kind of gathered up all the little plants that I had. <laughs> um, neither of these, oops, I'm trying to get it focused and I don't think I ever succeed. But I, anyway, neither of those came with this set, I don't believe. And I'm kind of running out of counter space, so I'm just tucking them outside the window. It'll work. And then there are some spots in that outdoor planter where you can stick a little plant marker. So here it is, sped up, but just to give you a sense of everything, there is Willow, our custom 116, with her little Blair gardening outfit on. She looks so cute. We've got the blanket from the um, donut set, just to make it look a little cozier in there. Trellis came out nicely. And now let me be quiet. There's the crickets and the birds. And there the light just came on. See it? And the sounds go on for quite some time. It's really very precious. So here's the before and after. Um, again, I think it's a big improvement. I don't think it looked bad before, but these little details, especially looking at the masonry and the stones right there, make a big difference to me. And here are just some pictures. It wasn't natural lighting. It was They weren't amazing. But look, it looks so cute to be able to take a picture of her through the window. I should have closed it to get some of those too, but anyway. There is my greenhouse. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you have this? Is it on your wish list? If not, if you just want to tell me some fun big ticket items you've gotten or you would love to get, I would be happy to read that and interact with you in the comments. Feel free to binge watch. Um, there's a playlist on the left and I think playlist on the left and picked just for you video on the right. Otherwise, I will be back within a week for another video. Have a great one.